friends, thanks for watching. My name's Rouge, like the color. Today we're gonna talk about how to get your hair nice and straight like this. And if you like it, stay tuned and you will see some horrendous looking facial expressions, which I have perfected just for you. If you like it, give it a thumbs up below, comment down below on anything else you wanna see or just any comments in, re in general and keep on watching. Thanks guys, bye bye. Hi guys, okay, so I just got out of the shower and I just blow dried my hair with a vent brush and I wanted to talk to you about the different shampoos and conditioners that I'm using recently. My hairdresser turned me on to Kerastase. Um, there's a glare, there we go. Kerastase is pretty popular and I'm fairly certain you can find it at any of your salons. I actually found mine at um, Nordstrom Rack and it wasn't any much less expensive than or any more less expensive than my salon carries it but I was at Nordstrom Rack so I decided to get it but this brand is really cool because it has a lot of nourishing and fortifying features to it and specifically this um, uh, line the resistance line um, that my hairdresser told me to use I've been absolutely loving it because my hair is horrendous it is coarse it's frizzy it's very very thin um, but there's a lot of it so it is just loving humid weather because it will just get so gross and ugly but and I love it long and beautiful <laughs> so I don't want to cut it but it's thin so to kind of overcome that um, I've been using this Kerastase this is the shampoo um, the resistance line and then this is the conditioner and again, you can get it at, I got mine for, at Nordstrom Rack, but you can get it at any of your salons and you don't need a lot, even for my hair. My hair is pretty long, it goes all the way down there. I only need about like that much and I wash my hair just like normal shampoo and then I condition it and I leave the conditioner in there while I'm just kind of rinsing off and then I rinse it off at the end. And then the other tricks that I absolutely love is this Bumble and Bumble Straight. Today I'm gonna straighten my hair. Um, this is actually a miracle. I love it. It nourishes the hair as well as um, making it straight. It makes my life a whole lot easier. It doesn't take 45 minutes to straighten my hair. And then just to kind of protect it from the heat, I also use this L'Oreal line Sleek It Iron Straight Hair Spray. And honestly, I am not a believer when products kind of write these things down like for curly hair or for straight hair because I just feel like they all do the same thing. But this one, for reals, it straightens the hair like you've flat ironed it. And I am gonna flat iron it anyway, but it just kind of like double flat irons it almost. So um, you'll get, to, I'm gonna show you the process. I'm gonna speed it up so you don't have to painfully sit here and watch me straighten my hair because it's fairly easy. But I, um, basically when it was wet, I used this and then I sprayed this. And now I'm going to use this flat iron, the Remington. I don't know, it, I just got it from Target. My sister told me about it. I used to spend a lot of money on um, straightening irons, like the Chi and what else did I have? I don't know, all those like really expensive $150, $200 flat irons and they're like the ceramic, they're like that thin, but I find that this Remington one works really well. And it was like 30 bucks from Target. And we're just gonna straighten my hair. And every time I run a tool, a hot tool over it, I am gonna use this because it is a heat protectant. Just let it kind of air dry a little bit before you use it. And then the other key thing is when you do straighten your hair, you don't wanna just use a straightening iron clamped right on top of the hair because it literally, it's like an iron. It'll just, uh, it'll just kind of, defrizz or clamp down any curls that you have. So you really wanna brush it, hold it, kind of pull, and then tug it down. I'm gonna just make sure to get the bottom. I am sweating, it is so hot. <laughs>
just kind of run a little bit more straight down here. I'm loving my hair straight recently. I got inspired, of course, by the by the Kim. <laughs> Love her. She's so beautiful. Here always ends up in like a square. I swear it's so weird. My hair is the bane of my existence. All right. And then what I do is I, in order for me to put my makeup on, I take I part it in half like little. Um, what is this called? Piglets. What are these things called? Whatever. Just part it in the middle, and then I clamp it on each side. And that keeps it off my neck. Just twist it around your finger and then like that. And then once you're done putting your makeup on and everything, um, bring it back down. At that point, I have stopped sweating. <laughs> and um, you can just run it through, run the straightener through it again. And then the trick that I learned is you take your blow dryer on the cool setting. I have the dry bar. I think it's called the buttercup. I don't remember what this is called. Anyway, um, put it on the cool setting here and then with a cool blast and then just blast your hair until it's cold. And I found that my hair stays so much straighter and it lasts longer when I lock in the style with the cool blast than if I just kind of let it go and it's kind of cooling on its own. Um, okay, I'm going to put my makeup on and then I will be back and I'll show you the final look. Okay, as you can see I have my makeup on now and it's given my hair some time to cool off a little bit. And if you like it, you can actually leave your hair like this because it'll give these really pretty natural waves. But because I, oh, actually, that's not so bad. It's still pretty warm, but you want it to be even cooler so that it locks in that hairstyle. Especially back here, it's pretty hot. So what I do is, once again, lift at the root. And just kind of run the straightener over again. I'm going to move my chair back here so you guys can actually see the full length of the hair. And then, I don't know if you can tell, but as I'm going in, I'm curling the straightening, straightening iron down a little bit towards my body. Just to give it that little bit of natural curl so it's not like just stick straight. And quite honestly, it just kind of like straightens out on its own anyway. So if you don't want to do that, it's not a big deal. And then I just kind of brush it. So then if I'm happy with the way this looks, which I am, I need a trim. Then I just take the blow dryer and put it on the cool setting down here. Um, I'm gonna talk you through this because when I turn it on, it'll be really loud, but um, turn it on and then blast it with the cool air and then brush it through and that will really help kind of lock in the hairstyle that you have. Obviously when your hair is curly, it's not that easy to do that with a cool blast because it'll just break apart the curl. So this is really for just straight hair. And this is just kind of what I've learned to do to manage my hair.
those flyaways that were there, they're gone. My hair is nice and smooth. I know that some people put a kind of a topical product, a serum. Um, I used to have them too. My sister uses, uh, I, I think it's Bilage uh, hair serum. And that kind of helps weigh down her hair a little bit. Um, when I've tried any of those after uh, styling serums in they just kind of weigh down my hair and it makes the top of my hair look greasy and I honestly wash my hair once a week I know it sounds disgusting but like I said I have a lot of hair and it's not necessarily the washing part that's tiresome it's the straightening part or the kind of the take uh, getting ready part that's the annoying thing and I just I don't know I just don't have time for it so that's it so I hope you like this tutorial um, give me a thumbs up if you do and leave a comment down below about anything else that you want to see. Um, thank you so much for subscribing and remember, don't be beige, be rouge like the color. Thanks guys, bye bye.